All right, so this little tutorial, I'm just going to um, look at how we convert a GPX, so the file you get off a GPS, into a shapefile, and how we'd add to the attributes of the shapefile, how we'd add the uh, OS grid coordinates onto that. So first things first, we need to go up to the uh, Add New Vector uh, button up here, and you want to browse to where you've saved your uh, GPX file, the one you got off your GPS. So mine's in here, there's mine, uh, open. Uh, now the only thing I've recorded is uh, the waypoints. So I've marked a waypoint at each point that I wanted to mark. Um, if you've recorded other things like routes and tracks, then you'd import them. Um, I'm only interested in waypoints, so all I click on is the waypoints one, and then press OK. There's our points, they're in the right place. I can zoom out, that's the right place, yep. Yeah. So now I need to convert that into a shape file. To do that, all I do is right click on here, so this is the, the item that we just brought in, right click, save as, browse to where I want to save it, I'm going to save it in, no I'm going to save it in my documents, um, work, pretend, uh, this is HND isn't it? <coughs> Deep Slade Points, I'm going to call it, save. So just make sure that's set to shapefile and the next bit is here, CRS, Coordinate Reference System. By default uh, it's set to WGS84 and when it comes off the GPS it's in WGS84. We want British National Grid because we're trying to get the, the British National Grid position onto this uh, onto the attribute table. So switch that from WGS to British National Grid here. If that's not on your drop down list, just click on the little hat here and search British National Grid. And it should be this one here, 27700. Click that one. OK. And there we go. And now we just press OK. So now we've got two point layers here. We've got deep slate points, which is the one I just made, and we've got GPS points waypoints, which is the file from the GPX. Uh, and if you just hold your mouse over, it ends .gpx, which is uh, GPS exchange. So that's the file that comes off the GPS unit. Uh, this one here should be a shape file. Yeah, it ends in .shp. So the shape file is the one we want to keep. The GPX one, GPS points waypoints, we want to get rid of. So right click on it and go remove. Yep. Go. So now what we've got is the, the shape file. What we want to do now is we want to add the um, ordnance survey, well, the British National Grid coordinates onto the attribute table here. So we want to, you can either do it this way by clicking on this button here which is open attribute table or right click on the layer and go open attribute table. These are all the things that the GPS has recorded. Uh, elevation time, the name of the point, that's about it on mine. And we want to add some new stuff. We want to add a new, well, two new columns, one with the, the uh, X position and one with the Y position. So columns are these the vertical ones here. So PDOP is a column. SIM, which contains all the flags, is a column. We want to add two new ones, X and Y. So let's start off, we want to switch editing on the little pencil, and we want to go all the way across here to the little picture of an abacus, which is called the field calculator. So click on that, and this allows us to make a new column based on a formula, usually. Um, so what we want to do, we want to make sure, create a new field, fields and columns, they're, well, field is the hugest name for a column. So create a new field, create a new column, tick that make sure it's ticked. Output field name, that's the title on the column, so here the title is sim, here is type, here is link to type. Ours we probably want something like x, because we want the x coordinate. Next bit is output field type. Um, if we're recording latitude and longitude, which is in decimal, uh, sorry, which is in degrees, you probably want a decimal number. 
um, because most of the detail is in the, the numbers after the decimal point. Whereas for the British National Grid, it's in meters, the, the main part of the number, um, and any any decimal point after is going to be like fractions of a meter, and the GPS is inaccurate past you know three meters anyway. So all the the detail after is rubbish. So we can use a whole number because we don't need anything after the decimal. So whole number. Now in this big window, expression window here, this is where we type in our formula for finding whatever it is we're trying to find out. In this case, we're trying to find out x, and the formula for that is just dollar sign x. So can you guess what the y one might be? I'm going to keep quiet and let you guess for a minute. It's dollar sign y anyway. So just press OK and now our x column is populated with the x coordinate position of each of our points, each of these points. So we can do the same now, click on the abacus new field, this one we want for the y, so we put in y and then we put our formula for finding the y axis which is dollar sign y and press OK and there is our two new uh, columns containing the, the position of each of those points so we save that, little floppy disk with a pencil on, that one and now if we use the identify tool, the little eye tool, and we click on one of these, let's bring that up here. So it's click, clicked on that one there, we scroll down, there is our X and Y positions of that point. So that's how you add the uh, ordinance, well, British National Grid uh, position onto a GPS file.